Hi, today I'd like to tell you about the AV installation in the Gunnada Council Chamber that we are just finalising. Council chose the Bosch Dicentis Wired Multimedia System to satisfy requirements for now and into the future. The consoles at each desk have a built-in speaker and a 7-inch touchscreen. The LED on top of the microphone shows red when the mic is live and starts a countdown timer next to the name of the person speaking. The camera automatically zooms in so those participating in the meeting remotely or watching from home can both see and hear each participant clearly. In the council chamber, anyone wishing to contribute can press their mic button to indicate their intention. The LED on top of their mic will flash green if someone else is speaking, showing they are next to speak. The LEDs on the other mics will show a steady green, indicating they are in the queue to speak. The mayor has an override button that can turn off other mics if required. The multimedia consoles can also be used for electronic voting, either in a prepared form or ad hoc at any time during the meeting. The voting and other features can be activated by using a console with appropriate permissions or by an officer using the Dicentus meeting application on a laptop. More about the meeting application at the end of this video. With additional licenses, the system can also be used for simultaneous translation. Additionally, sound equipment is also required, so those not in front of a console can hear clearly what is being said, and if a pre-recorded segment, with or without music, is played, a full rich sound is experienced. In this council chamber, this is achieved with two circuits of ceiling speakers. The speakers at the rear are used to enhance the clarity of those speaking in the council chamber for the benefit of any observers at the rear of the chamber. The front and rear speakers are both used to hear those participating remotely and for any pre-recorded material. For those requiring assisted hearing, a loop is installed around the public gallery area and sockets on the side of the consoles can be used for individual assisted hearing devices. The equipment to power and control the system is housed in a pair of equipment racks located under the desks in the council chamber. At the bottom of the first rack is a POE switch with a CAT6 cable to each console. Above is the Bosch APS audio powering switch that controls the mic consoles and routes audio to the sound system. Above the APS is the server that manages communications. At the bottom of the second rack is the amplifier with the Bosch PLM8M8 digital sound processor and hearing loop amp above. The DSP has a built-in web browser, so the officer controlling the meeting can look at each zone on their laptop and adjust which sound, the microphone, the pre-recorded segments, etc. can be fed to which zone at what level. The council's PC and a handheld wireless mic receiver is also housed in this rack. On top of the rack is the Blackmagic web presenter that combines the audio from the sound system and vision from the camera, combining the elements and sending them to the PC which sees them as an external webcam for Zoom meetings and streaming. The web presenter is also capable of streaming council meetings direct once it has an internet connection. Now last but not least, the meeting application. Some say it's very simple to manage and operate. They may say that, I couldn't possibly comment. What I can say is, there is a tremendous amount of support from Bosch and their distributors to help you get what you need out of the system. First, the system needs to be configured to determine who sits where, who votes and who manages the meetings. Then a meeting has to be prepared. It can be as simple as a single meeting selected each time the system is used, or can be set up for each meeting separately, showing who is attending, what is the agenda, who can speak, and how long they can speak at any particular meeting. It also can be set up for them to vote in an either yes, no, or for, against, abstain format. 
Whichever method you choose for your setup, the results are recorded in a file so you can see who voted which way and a lot of other statistics about the meeting. If you want any more details or have any questions, please get in touch. I'm Peter Sinclair, Managing Director of Onstage Presentations. Thank you for watching.